after the longest game in school history. The Ohio University basketball plays the biggest non-conference home game in recent history tonight. It's a holiday treat. Tradition Laden Temple is in town. After a 60-minute loss at St. Bonaventure on Saturday, one might wonder how the Cats are doing mentally and physically. Cat guards Nick Kellogg and DJ Cooper. We played our hearts out on Saturday uh, really, really hard. A uh, really good game. Uh, just didn't go our way. It made us real hungry. I mean, uh, it's making us real hungry in practice, you know. Uh, you know, playing a good team like that, you know, they had uh, some pretty good bigs. Uh, it just made us real hungry for uh, this Temple game. Cooper bopped Bonnie with 43 points, the most for a cat since 94, when Gary Trent dropped 46 on Bowling Green. Go figure. He's the Mac East Player of the Week. And he's on the Koozie Award watch list for the best point guard in the country. Does he have to score in bunches for this team to win? He says he'll do whatever he can. I just play game by game, you know, whatever whatever the team needs. If, if it's me scoring the ball, you know, getting guys involved. Uh, rebound and assist. I'm just trying to play the win. I'm not going out, you know, every night trying to score or just get assist or something like that. He'll see another koozie kid tonight in Temple's Juan Fernandez. They have a wooden award lister in Lavoy Allen. The Owls are tough and physical. They're good. Coop and Kellogg know their opponent. And they know how to try to pull off the upset. They're a big team, big physical team. You know, they don't really like to run in transition, but, you know, I feel like, you know, if we play our game, you know, hit shots, you know, guys play, you know, kind of play how we usually play. I think, you know, we'll come out with the win. Got to be really solid in, in our defense, uh, and we have, we got to attack on offense. Uh, like Coach said, it was a really simple game plan. Uh, they're, they're good, uh, but he, without a, there's no doubt in his mind that uh, if we do what we need to do, then uh, we'll give ourselves a chance to win the game. Ohio has lost three times at home this year. That doesn't happen often. Kellogg says regardless of the opposition, enough is enough. Three losses here at home, that's that's not really sitting well with us right now. Uh, we're, we're ready to get out there and uh, start defending our home court again. This is a big night in Athens. It's a real big game. I mean, it's a real good team, but uh, I think we're going to be ready. I think everybody's looking forward to this game. Uh, it's we've, we've kind of circled in our schedule. Uh, guys are excited about it. Uh, it's here at home. Uh, obviously, Temple is a really good ball club, so I think we're chopping at the bit to get back on the court and uh, try to kind of redeem ourselves a little bit. It's a hoops holiday on the Hawking. It's 6-5 and five Ohio University and the 8-2 and two Temple University Owls. And from the Roundhouse on Richland, it's time for Bobcat basketball. Hi, friends. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Happy holidays. Rob Cornelius is alongside and Ben Youngerman is in our Holzer Clinic studio. Temple is on the doorstep of the top 25 and has been to 27 NCAA tournaments in their school's history. It's great to play them. It's even greater to play them at home and greater still to upset them. Ohio will try to do that tonight. This is Countdown to Tip-Off presented by Budweiser. Our game night coverage continues next on the Citizens Bank Ohio Sports Network from IMG College.